opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. The king's Indian defense prepares to develop the bishop to g7, allowing white to build up a strong center which black will later try to undermine. And c3 prepares the e2-e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. The Grunfeld defense uses this pawn push to gain space in the center and attack the c4 pawn. Cxd5 opens up the center, after black recaptures with nxd5, white is prepared to answer with e2-e4. Nxd5 recaptures the d5 pawn and places the knight in the center, where it controls many important squares. e4 takes full control of the center and attacks the knight on d5. Nxc3 trades the attacked knight, and gives white a large center that black will attempt to attack. Bxc3 recaptures the knight and supports the d4 pawn. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. Bc4 develops the bishop to an aggressive diagonal where it helps control the d5 square and attacks the f7 pawn. c5 takes space in the center and attacks the d4 pawn, if white captures the c5 pawn then black can reply with bxc3+, plus, winning the exchange. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. The pawn is now adequately defended. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This develops a bishop off its starting square getting it into the action. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. This defends the attacked pawn. It is the last book move. That's fine. It is good. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. It is excellent. This threatens to kick a knight. It is a mistake. This is an equal trade. It is good. Recaptures. This threatens to add pressure on a pinned knight. It is best. This is the only move that works. This stops the opponent from being able to add pressure on a pinned knight. It is a great move. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a knight. It is a mistake. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a rook. This allows the opponent to kick a queen. It is a miss. The opposing queen is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is an inaccuracy. That's not a mistake but it's not the best move either. It is good. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is excellent. This overlooks an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a queen. This permits the opponent to take an outpost with the knight. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to take an outpost with the knight. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This wins time by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. It is best. This moves the queen to safety. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. 
This ignores an opportunity to take an outpost with a knight. It is an inaccuracy. A very strong play. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Takes back. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is good. This misses a better way to recapture a piece. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. This is an equal trade. It is good. Takes back. It is best. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is good. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to add a defender to a vulnerable pawn. This allows the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is a mistake. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This captures a rook that checked the king. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Takes back. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is best. This evades the check from the queen. It is forced. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that Black got the better of.